Hello everyone, I am back, Robin De Silva from my YouTube channel, Robin and Hirun. Last time, you could remember me from my video, Hybrid Animals, and before that, my video, Animal Classification. Today, we are going to talk about something you can't even see to your naked eye. Yes, they are microorganisms. Today's topic is importance of microorganisms. First, let's find the definition of microorganisms. The unicellular or multicellular organisms which can't be observed through the naked eye but can be observed through a microscope are microorganisms. The next question that comes into mind is where do they live? Actually, they thrive in all habitats on Earth. Good examples are the atmosphere, water, soil, and etc. And even adverse uh, habitats like the desert, volcanoes, and even glaciers. Here we can see some main microorganisms that scientists observe. Chlamydomonas, yeast, bacteria, muca, paramecium, and amoeba. Okay, so let's identify what are the main factors that affect microbial growth. The first one is moisture, the second one is temperature, the third one is pH range. So down here you can see some processes that microorganisms do. The first one is fermentation, the microbial activity on food high in sugar or carbon dioxide. Second one is putrefaction which means the microbial activity on food high in protein. And the third one is rancidity, the microbial activity on food high in fats. Let's identify the benefits of microorganisms. Decomposition, producing antibiotics, producing vaccines, making compost, producing dairy products, producing biogas, baking like the bread we eat in our day to day life, producing food like mushrooms, coin industry and producing vinegar or alcohol. Like the benefits that microorganisms give to us, microorganisms also cause harmful effects to us. Let's talk about them right now. Infectious diseases to man, animals and plants, food spoilage, damages due to growth of microbes on the surfaces of objects. Let's talk about the harmful effects that microorganisms cause to man. Viruses common cold, dengue and AIDS. In the bacteria section we have TB, leprosy and typhoid fever. In the protozoa we have malaria, leishmanesis and amoebasis. In fungal we have pyteriasis and sore. Next, what are the harmful effects that microbes cause to animals? The first one is mastitis, which you can see in this cow. The second one is foot and mouth disease. And the third one is hydrophobia, which you can see in this dog. Microorganisms cause diseases to a man and animals. But what about plants? They cause diseases to plants too. The first one is blight. You can see in this leaf. The second one is mosaic disease, which you can see in this papaya leaf. And the third one is leaf curl disease. You can see here, the leaves are curled back up. The third main disadvantage from microorganisms is damages caused to the growth of microbes on the surfaces of objects. The first one is fungi on walls, as you can see here. If you don't maintain the walls, fungi will grow rapidly and the next one is fungi on clothes you can see some spots here which are not that pretty the third one is fungi on wooden surfaces 
like mushrooms, so they like to grow on wooden surfaces. And microorganisms can get anywhere. They rapidly reproduce and they spread everywhere. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down there, and never miss a video when we upload. If you want to check out more cool videos like this one, you can check out my animal classification video, my hybrid animals video, my brother's dinosaur introduction video. Before I go, I need to mention one thing. Stay home, stay safe from Corona. Okay, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!